Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Gangsta Certified. This is your girl, Janae, a.k.a. Illy Vish. Just wanted to pop in before the episode starts and let you guys know, excuse me, a few things. Um, This week, I'll be chatting and chilling with the Golden Mystic, a.k.a. Erica. We basically just, you know, sit and talk astrologically and about what we see out here in the astrology community. But I did want to say to everyone that we are in some interesting times right now, like really interesting energy. I've been noticing a lot of people on the Spiritual Gangsta Certified page and elsewhere on social media are all kind of saying some similar things, you know, that they're feeling off. And I wanted everybody to know that, you know, you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. We are between eclipses. We're between the, you know, the lunar eclipse that happened in Gemini and the upcoming solar eclipse that's going to happen on the new moon in Sagittarius. And a lot of people call these portals, which I do feel that they are. And they have a lot to do with karma and the resetting of a lot of cycles. Then we have the Great Conjunction that's coming up on December 21st with Jupiter and Saturn going into Aquarius. Just wanted to let you guys know I have a workbook already up and I'll make sure that I post it on the Spiritual Gangster Certified Facebook page for you guys to download. Um, It's a workbook to help you you know, kind of delve into what's going to happen during Saturn in Aquarius and and consider your own chart. But also, also, we're going to be doing lives to go over some of this energy because people have so many questions that I feel just cannot be addressed, you know, in writing. So look for that to come too. But in the meantime, as we finish out the year of the Rona, I want everybody to kind of just take some stock. You know, this is, we're going into winter. During winter, you know, things kind of die and fall away. And, you know, we're supposed to go into ourselves a little bit to figure out exactly what the year brought us. Since Aries season until the end of Pisces season. Okay, because I look at the astrological new year as starting with Aries season and then ending with Pisces season. What can you take stock in? What have you done? What has happened since that time for you? What lessons have you learned? What things would you completely do differently given the chance to do them again? And what have you learned that could better propel you into what you want? Winter will be a time to think about that, y'all. You know, you're not supposed to necessarily be planting new seeds in winter. That doesn't even follow the cycles of nature. You know, this is a time when things are dying. So what needs to die? It's very interesting that we can talk about that in regards to karmic cycles as well. Because there's some stuff that a lot of people is wrapping up. That is just being completely wrapped up in their life so they can move on to something new. But that takes the willingness and the ability to be able to go, you know what? This has served this purpose. We don't need to keep holding on to this. Let it go. So if that's resonant with you and you have a feeling or an inclination about what you need to just ease into releasing, please do. Please do. We're getting such a grand opportunity, you know, to kind of rise into our own truths. But truth requires that you be honest. If you think about the order of the zodiac, right? So Scorpio season, the sun was shining a spotlight on us going under the surface. Because Scorpio energy does not care 
what something is. It needs to know exactly what it's dealing with. It needs to pierce under the layers. It don't like the superficiality. It does not like having to guess what it's dealing with. And then after that, after you've dug under the surface, gone under, you know, all the layers of things that may be hiding uh, what's really going on, then we have sad season, which has us focus on that truth that we've uncovered and bravely adventure onto it. Use this theme, use this energy to really become present with what became real and clear and present to you after Scorpio season. Because now, you know, we're dealing with the energy of, you know, having to expand upon some of those themes. And for a lot of people, it look, <laughs> me included, the truths that have risen to the surface have been substantial. And I would be doing myself a great disservice if I didn't pay attention to them. So I hope that you guys can do the very same. But stay tuned for my chat and chill with Erica, the golden mystic. See y'all on the flip side. Hey, this is Illy Vish from Spiritual Gangster Certified. And if you haven't heard about Anchor... And the fact that it's the easiest way to record a podcast, let me put you on. First of all, it's free, and we know we can't get any better than free. And it has creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or from your computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you don't have to do any extra footwork. They'll send it over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more podcast platforms. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So tell me where you're going to find that. (laughs) Can't find it anywhere else. So it's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. You want to make sure that if you want to start a podcast that you go get the free Anchor app at anchor.fm to get started. One. Welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Gangsta Certified. I am your host, Janae Jones or Illy Vish. I don't care what you call me. I'm just not late for astrology or dinner. <laughs> my Venus and Taurus. Conjunct my progressed Taurus sun. Try my moon. Like, don't call me late to eat or for astrology. But welcome y'all back to another episode. I'm sitting here chilling today with Erica. Hey. Also known as the Golden Mystic. And yeah. we doing a chat and chill. Doing a little chat and chill. She is amazing. And if you have the benefit of being entertained by her on Facebook, then consider yourself quite lucky. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love her. I love the way that like she breaks stuff down. And you know, one of the things that's important. I think in this day and age is for people to use astrology practically. And if it's not part of people's everyday conversations and understanding it, then how can it be used practically? And that's something that you do. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, I do take astrology pretty seriously as much as I joke about it on uh, Facebook, but um, I love astrology. Like when you really get into the nitty gritty and you start you, you just start seeing it in everyday life. And like, you literally start speaking your birth chart and you, like, when you hear it, <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's really amazing. Yes. I said, just all of, of the different areas of your life that it covers and how accurate it is. It's like, like, I'm a skeptic. Like, I, I I have tried to debunk. I have been one of those people. But it's like... That's how I started learning it. I was like, this can't. Let me find the holes. Let me think. No, for real. Because, like, I'm, 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 I'm a Capricorn rising. I'm a Virgo moon. Like, I'm looking for a reason. Like, I'm looking for a reason to be like, this is bullshit. You're bullshit. This is bullshit. 
I ain't found it yet. Like astrology, astrology is legit. Yes, it's legit. Like if you if you say astrology is bullshit, like I don't know what to tell you. Like you don't understand it well enough. If you do, that's how I feel. Yeah, like I'm like the people, but the people that I hear say that are people who never really bothered to go past like the first layer of it. You know what I mean? They don't bother to study the wheel. They don't really know shit about aspects or, you know, anything basic like that. Like they're limited to the sun sign, maybe the moon sign. They looked at the little chart, you know, they have no idea what that shit means. They don't know what houses are. And it's like, that's cool, but you can't just dis, 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 dismiss a whole study. And people want to do it in like two minutes. Like people have fought with me in like comment threads before, like randomly on Instagram. I remember some dude was like, there can't only be 12 types of people. I'm like, first of all, you started there. Those are 12 <laughs> archetypes that are broken down into several different pieces and parts but there are 12 archetypes it's not just 12 types of people you don't know the fuck you're talking about why are you arguing with an astrologer that that would be like or like they'll try to test your knowledge yeah i'm not about to do that with you i'm not you don't do that with a a heart surgeon you don't know nothing about heart surgery you're gonna be like what you said now that procedure can't work it's a study though it's a science and it all started on a theory so And like, it, it's not like we're just, we all know why it's watered down and why people look at it the way that they do. Yeah. And you can't force people to pick up a book about astrology, but you know, mainstream media has watered it down. And um, even with the rise of um, astrology, you know, you you see bigger um, names talking about it, like um, Bossip and uh Hell, I think just about any magazine, you can look it yeah. up. They, they talk about Mercury retrogrades. They talk about the full moons. You know what I mean? Everybody is in the know with, um, you know, the major planetary moves. Like everybody knows about December 21st. You yep. know what I mean? <laughs> so um, it's good in one way, you know, because it's making people more aware of what's going on. But again like if if you're not studying it further then you kind of you're just making more general generalizations more exactly you're just watering down the legitimacy even further which is why i know some people go so hard (laughs) you know like especially on twitter and shit i'll be laughing (laughs) at this shit (laughs) you know um and even on facebook it's funny to me but like um at the end of the day just have fun with it don't let it like run your life like i don't let it run my life i don't know this i don't look at transits daily and shit like i'll be a fucking wreck like a nervous ass wreck <laughs> waiting on some bad shit to happen like if i looked at my transits every fucking day you kidding yes. me like yeah huh i'll experience some of the day first and sometimes be like, okay what fuck shit's happening and then go look but like yeah yeah like if some fuck shit just happened i'll go and look and i'll be like okay or like if i'm being like um extra emotional and just like irrational and shit Mm -hmm. i can almost guarantee you moon is in cancer it's in cancer right now fucking with my mars so (laughs) petty bitch shit emotional turbulence all that fun stuff that oh, cancer yeah moon and cancer i'll be crying and shit just emotional for no reason but sometimes i'm just um it's not always that um sometimes just like super um nostalgic yeah. like finding myself getting baby fever uh looking through my daughter's old pictures and stuff because she was so cute and um <laughs> yeah just reminiscing on them times and um for me like her you know babies their child when they're little 
they grow up so fast. Yeah, it's they like grow up really quick. Yeah, and I had to work a lot. So, and that shows up in her chart with her Capricorn stellium. Mm-hmm. You know, um, mom had to work a lot, so I was hardly at home, and I missed a lot of that. Like, so when can- Cancer uh, transits come up, it really makes me think about that, and it makes me want more. I be tripping. But you know what I mean? Like, it just makes me in that gooey, gooey mood. It's, it's yeah. Really, it's, it's, it's sick. It really <laughs> Like, I feel for cancers. Like, um, they're sweet people. I love them. But at the same time, like, the emotion is like. It comes rushing in. I th- Ooh, it's literally like a wave. Yes, like, it is. Yes, it is. It's it's that initiating emotion. It's it, it has to propel and project it, it and get it out. out. It's like you have to let it play out because if you don't, it's just gonna get worse. Yes, yes. But you know, um, cancers—they're pretty whiny or they're dramatic too. So um... with that influence of the moon, they ruling planets, changing spots every two and a half days. Ooh. It makes a lot of sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, whoo. Mm-hmm. Lord and mercy. So, cancer transits. I know I have to sedate myself heavily <laughs> to make sure I got some weed on deck because <laughs> 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 I hate cancer season, man. Like, and not, not to be confused with cancer people. I love right. Cancer, but cancer season is rough for me. I ain't gonna lie. And again, with me studying astrology like it's made me like hyper aware of it now and it's not like um you know like some people might say oh you might astrology is real because you're self-fulfilling it like no bitch like (laughs) you wake up and you're you can literally feel these energies like influencing you like yeah so what helps with astrology is again the awareness so you can have the aware. I can have the awareness. Like, okay, Moon is in Cancer, so I know if I start getting irrationally irritated, this is the influence in in why. So here's the steps that I can take to kind of like try to mitigate that. You know what I mean? That's yes. The point of transits, and it it's more than a, a emotional. It can be for other things, and that's what people um need to understand about astrology. This, this looking at the cycles and how they're affecting you, you brought up something very poignant. It's so important. It, it's super important because what we can get from it, like if I see, I can feel the energy already, but if I can see it broken down, then when I look at what's going on with a transit and how it's affecting me, I can then think of the themes that are present and come up with a way to navigate mm-hmm. the waters better. It's like, it's showing you the path of least resistance through some bullshit. You know Basically. what I mean? Yeah, it's basically like you you basically have a cheat sheet. Like, okay, this is this is what we're dealing with here. So, um, the good thing about modern day astrology is it comes with instructions, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, here's what this aspect means, but here's what you can do about it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just doom and gloom. So, I really like that. Because the doom and gloom, I, I like, I get it, and and I understand, and I think Apollonia, the astrology lady, said the shout outs to her. She thinks it's like sixty percent fate, and then the forty percent, or I might be saying it backwards. Oh God, I gotta <laughs> go check. Yeah. But I, it resonated with me that yeah, okay, like there are some things that are going to happen, but you are still responsible for how you're swimming through the water, no matter what the water's like like right right you gotta switch it up yeah that's the purpose of all of it it's so it's like when you grasp that i don't understand why people can't like see how it's beneficial but most people don't even know i mean that's 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 cool and you know i've said it so many times before but it's like i i can understand why um astrologers you know like um the og astrologers why they just kind of stop talking to people about it after a while um at least on social media because 
people be dense as fuck like oh god do they <laughs> oh my god like <laughs> i don't know how to make this any clearer to you right now um and you know it's not like astrology is not a belief system it is not a religion like <laughs> And some ignorant people seem to think that like yeah. and again this is why I tell people like I don't live my life by astrology but I can tell you it is a useful tool you just the, the words you exactly said it is a tool it is also a language it, it is a way in which I can understand and deduce things so so that I can handle them better somebody argue with me about it being a religion just admit you're religious um no no i'm, <laughs> I'm not religious i practice like, astrology I, I don't need any belief in this it, it it's a tool i use it and then it works so it's like, like um, and you know like um i've, I've heard this so many times and I, i've thought about this myself like um meteorology same fucking thing like mm-hmm. we, we we go to look at what the weather is going to be like every single day yes it's um winter time you can expect this during the winter time but sometimes bitch it'd be warm outside like (laughs) yeah sometimes you don't have to wear a coat sometimes it's fucking sub-zero and you might need to put an extra layer on that's why you go and look sometimes it's not always that but you prepare for it like that's what you're there for like it's really that's all there is to it but um it's fun too because when you meet people and when you talk to people like you can literally hear their chart as they're talking like this is like you'd be like you a scorpio ain't you because you 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 ain't saying shit like (laughs) (laughs) you're just peeping the scene (laughs) yeah You, you can detect energies yeah and it's so interesting and it's funny and i'd be like i'm finna get that birth chart because i want to see if i'm right right yeah. um it's interesting and it's fun and when i study you know like my daughter she's typically around me so she always has questions and she knows planets and she's starting to regurgitate it and i'm like okay she's gonna be a beast when she get older so started out early yes she has a genuine interest in it but her moon is in aquarius in Mm. the fifth house so it makes sense yeah it Um, does yeah learning it at a young age as well Mm. so equipped with them tools recognition the symbols and signs and energies early like oh my god the difference that it makes is like she's she doesn't do well in tradition well i'm not gonna say she doesn't do well because she is a capricorn but um Mm. she is bored with the traditional school system especially with it being virtual school now Mm. because she's just kind of ahead and she gets joy out of doing aquarian shit (laughs) and i mean that in every literal sense of that word like because her Mars is in Aquarius as well. So she, mm, <laughs> we had some issues in the beginning of the year. Let's just say that. Okay. Oh my God. Like, the, um, it's going to come in handy when she gets older. I'll okay. Say that. And um, especially with it being the age of Aquarius, like all these kids being born right now, like, Woo, it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's real different. Rebellious, revolutionary. That's the yeah. other thing too. I know we had talked about this before with people not understanding that you know the archetypes of the signs. First of all, the fact that we are all twelve signs. Um, this is this is something that like I'm gonna ask every astrologer I talk to about. <laughs> Because all this is going into a compilation because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm tired of people telling me stuff like, I only have Sagittarius and Scorpio on my chart. I don't have no Pisces. What are you talking about? So Ma'am. 
the reason why they think this is because they're looking at these fucking cafe astrology charts. Um, like oh the grid. Oh, the, the, oh you the mean list. the grid? The list. Yeah, the um, it's a fucking list. That's what it is. Um, so like, if they're a person like, say, my brother, he has a Capricorn stellium in, I, oh, and and an Aquarius stellium. Okay. So, and it's very tight so most of his planets are in those houses so he won't show a lot of the other planets you know, or you know like signs it's gonna be strong i get it in his um you know in that list so he could easily say like oh well i'm not a i'm not a scorpio or i don't have scorpio energy or i don't have pisces energy you know um like nah nigga like you got a whole chart like um your wheels your whole chart the charts yeah, are like, yeah, and it's because they don't I and I get it, like it's confusing. Like the first time I looked at the wheel, I was like, the fuck is this? The fuck is that? Like, what are these lines? Like these glyphs? I don't what is this? Um and you know that that's again like astrology is very layered, so you have to study that stuff to figure out what it means. And when you piece it together, I swear to God, it makes so much freaking sense like you're it's mind-blowing it really is i agree uh, it's scary even but like um depending on what you're learning astrology for and what your use is for it like you can use it through anything like Kay said you can look at anything anything under an astrological scope it it is Mm -hmm. that's correct your health your sexual profile um you know um partnership um location like it's it the list goes on and on like every area of life like it's so interesting like for real it's it's viewable and and allows you to quantify and qualify it and that's that's why i'm like why do people not understand this is a system when you count your money you had to learn how to count to begin with because this is a method that people use that is useful in life. So it's it's like I look at it the same way um, as far as being something to utilize in order to derive information. And you can get it for, you can use it for everything. People that I don't have any Pisces, you have a 12th house and you have Pisces somewhere in your chart and one of your houses depending you on how your chart's set up. No, all yeah, that you and and then i'll be like okay here's the thing that kills me you have you have no pisces in your chart so when the sun goes in pisces where what happens yeah it's not how, how come it affects your chart how's it affecting your chart if you have no pisces or like now? what if we have a full moon or a new moon in pisces like that's not affecting you nope because that's what it, you're saying when you say you don't have that energy yes yes they don't know that they're not that, that they're not, not what they do <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> easily but no like that's why i'm grateful to groups like um like when i describe discover afro astrology yes uh, hey girl um sisterhood i don't want to get it wrong Uh, hey girl astrology yeah k's group yeah Um, another great resource for learning astrology and it's like you have resources you you have resources to learn it and then you have people who know what they're talking about guiding you through it, you know? Um, it, like, if you really want to learn it and that's the whole thing, like, especially, like, with people who say shit like, oh, um, you're selfish because you don't want to give readings for free, basically. Like, bitch, this, this shit took time. But, like, if you really show initiative, astrologers will show you how to do things they will tell you things if they see that you're serious about it i give away knowledge for free all the time because i love astrology that much but if you want my specified help and most astrologers like or at least the ones that i know especially the black ones they will help you if they see that you're serious but like if you're just trying to get like a free reading like bitch get the fuck you can buy a reading that happens to me all the time people like oh my gosh i think someone just and it, and it's like it, it's not like i i'm not trying to be rude but right. at the same 
time you be you demanding that I give you my knowledge that for hours on end, like, are you high? Some people be high. high. Send like, you a whole chart. Can you tell me what all this means? Somebody's like, I've been trying to understand this. Can you explain this? Like, I'm you like, want me to give you a whole synastry reading for an hour, for an hour, two hours? I don't think they understand how involved it is and all the different. See, and it's a, like literally an energy reading. Like, I'm giving yes. you my energy. Like, I'm reading your energy. Like, that shit. And like, depending on what I'm reading, oh my God. Like, Amen. I've seen some shit. Like, people real life disturb <laughs> but um yeah like I don't mind telling people things but it's like when they start to expect it or demand it like it's like bitch or like I mean I can see if you ask me a question about a certain aspect or a certain thing I don't have a problem answering those especially if I have the time yeah you can't expect somebody to give you a whole chart Keep reading. Giving you, thing. you know what I mean? Or, <laughs> like they, they, there's no boundary with them. You right. know, or they try to dissolve that boundary. And it's like, um, you know, like it, if you want, you can book a reading with me and I can go through all that shit for you. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to come off like, you know, like I'm better than you because I know all this shit but like this understand this shit took time and it took money and you want me to give you all of that for the price of zero no like, ma'am and then like i said you're taking my actual energy i'm expending energy giving this to you like and condensing it down like simplifying it for you so that you can understand it like bro come on now <laughs> come on now <laughs> don't like don't do this Stop playing with me. Stop playing. The funny part about it too is I don't think that people understand that we're not trying to tell people you should never be asking anybody any astrology questions or anything like that because there's always opportunities to learn. I don't want that to discourage people from asking questions. But like you just said a minute ago, if an astrologer kind of sees that you're serious, like meaning that you are putting in some of your own work, which is one of the reasons why in astrology, I, I, I think that really helped people because they required that if you asked the question, you had to kind of explain what you already knew. You had to give something to get something. Bingo. You know, so like if you, if you display like, and, and it's not just like some question because everybody has questions. Everybody wants to kind of divine what's happening in their yeah, life. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with having questions. That's not the problem. Exactly. That's exactly. And I don't want people to take that the wrong way because I feel like a lot of times they do. And then you have the opposite end, the people that think they know every motherfucking thing. Oh my God. These annoying ass motherfuckers. Virgo ass bitch. Listen, oh, that's another thing. <laughs> As we sit here and curse, I have to say this because this has come up within the last week, specifically on this page. Look, if you have a problem with cursing, I'm not trying to say you can't have a problem with cursing in foul language. But what I will say is that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. <laughs> now, there, there's a way to look at this. I know how to be respectful one-on-one -on -one with people. If I know someone has an aversion to curse words, I'm not just going to motherfuck their face off. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I would not do that. <laughs> you know, but like, if you're on your own platform or page, I don't care if it's your Facebook page, your Instagram page, whatever. I'm going to talk how I talk. Yeah, we're not finna police how people talk. No, I don't do that. I don't come to your page to tell you how to talk. I don't understand why. I said this earlier in a post I made. I don't understand why people act like mall cops about like language and spiritual and astrology communities. Like I can't say fuck or dick because if I do, that's low vibrational. Suck my dick, bitch. Listen, sometimes that's the nicest thing I can tell a motherfucker. Hey, I'm not trying to be eloquent about shit all the time. And I'm always like torn, you know, like I could, I really could. I know how you to do it. Yes. For what? Like it takes so much time. Like I'd rather just say fuck this. <laughs> like, or fuck you. Like eat a dick. 
it's very simple you know like sometimes that's that perfectly describes what i'm feeling i don't think people understand that and i'm not saying everybody should just be cursing all crazy do what you feel comfortable doing that's what it's about yeah, no, like, you don't you don't have to talk to me you don't people don't have, always to don't have to say shit but people want to respond to everything. They want to give their energy to that which they don't like the most. And I said that makes no sense because I weird. It's very weird. It's weirdo shit. <laughs> Definitely weirdo shit. It's like why? Like so, the way I look at it, what I focus on grows, right? And if I'm just fighting people all the time, just going on their page looking for an excuse to be like, "Why'd you say that? That's fucked up." Like I don't think like that. Da, 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 da. Why would I engage? That means I want more of that. And I'm going to get more of that. Yeah, I'm like, that's like them people that um, come to a page and be like, oh my God, this is horrible. I'm leaving. Bitch, leave. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. The fuck? Everybody is always announcing their departure. <laughs> I promise you, nobody will notice that you're gone. We Who don't care. Well, you know, I mean, maybe somebody to... will, but not enough that, like, you had to do all this. But I don't know. That's what people do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, people that's, on. that's what they do. It's people interesting. On it. We're going to get it together, though. Yeah, you know what is, you know what's interesting, though? But it's showing something astrologically in the way that it plays out. Uh, it's showing the North Node and Gemini, South Node and Sag, because you're seeing who is not open to other people's ideas. And who is like, no, I know it all and know it best. And I'm going to stand on this soapbox and I don't give a fuck. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Y'all supposed to be kind of trying to walk away from some of that so that you can be open to other ideas. That's why this energy, right. you know, that we're under in the Sag season. And then there's the, the new moon eclipse coming. You know, the people, listen, Sag energy, energy is great for a lot of different reasons but if we're talking about the parts of it you should leave behind is that like kind of preachy soapboxy you know i know better than you which i mean it manifests itself in other signs know it all energy too but you know there's like a, yeah aquarius, aquarius, aquarius for sure aquarius and virgo like god virgo damn. definitely for sure you god damn like shut shut shut, shut, shut like 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 why are you why are you there? like <laughs> like they they really have this effect that makes people want to punch them like virgo more so but aquarius I know got people punch that me. too like I know aquarius it. i'm like are you trying to ruffle feathers or like what's going on they want to be that yeah. bolt of electricity striking everybody and making them uncomfortable. Just out of nowhere. Boom! Like, oh I yeah, just, I just have to say that. And it's like, again, this is just like, kind of like astrology. Like, especially on the fucking internet, on, on Facebook, like everywhere I turn around, I see an Aquarius getting put on mute <laughs> or kicked out of a group because they have this opposing They're ideology. Yeah, I... God and forbid. it's just like, ugh. see, I see where that manifests in my own chart too. Like, <laughs> like my Uranus is in the second house. It's in Scorpio, but it's, it's still like I really value like different, and it's square my mm-hmm. Mars. So it's kind of like yeah. Sometimes like the way I, I don't like putting myself forward in the way that everybody else is like that it bothers me like not not that anything's wrong with what anybody's doing that's not to say that oh ooh, how dare no it's just no i want to do it my way but same i'm yeah. hard-headed in that sense like and i probably shouldn't be you know what i mean like but yeah it's like i have to have that free cho- you know like i don't like to feel like I'm being forced to make a choice bitch don't take the choice away from me because then I I am going to rebel I even do this shit at work it's so funny um like don't tell me when to take my break (laughs) I take my break when I want to it's my break (laughs) and like it's like a personal challenge for me because Uranus also also um opposes my Mars so Mm. 
yeah you start um telling me what to do a little too much you're gonna start getting some resistance from me but it's not gonna be like outright resistance i'm not that type of person like be like fuck you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it passively <laughs> so you can tell me okay erica um break is at 4 15 you're like i'm gonna purposely not go at 4 15 <laughs> i'm not even gonna say fuck it i'm not going i'm just i'm just not going it. i'm gonna go take it when i want to take it like i'm not gonna argue with you that is so funny to me <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, ooh, why I'm at the same time same you see thing how thing it manifests and why it's like that for you uh-huh with your energy you see how it manifests and, and yeah. why it's like that for you and all the different energies that lead to this sense of you will not tell me what to do yeah and then i got my saturn and aquarius too so it's like yeah i'm hard-headed i'm very hard-headed but um that need to be an individual is prominent got you like i i'm even and i know aquarians do this shit because again i do this shit with my uh uranus in the first um and it i think it sextiles my mercury so like when stuff comes out and it's popular, like I'll purposely wait hella to, to, <laughs> no, I to don't see that shit. It before because <laughs> I don't want to be a part of the crowd or because it's like, you know, like because that's the thing to do. Like, um, or like if something becomes like, for example, my orange hair, like, um, it was somewhat of a trend because that's how I figured out it looked good on black girls, but um, like or I shouldn't say look good on black girls, but like on my type of skin tone. Gotcha. Um, I saw like her natural hair and I was like, wow, that's so cute. And, um, but anyway, um, let me see. Um, I basically, when I started seeing it pop up everywhere, like it seemed like, that type of trend i'm like yeah i need to change my hair color now because <laughs> other people are doing it now like too many people are doing it you know uh, what i mean like so i'm just that type of person like if i see too many people wearing something i won't i'll purposely not go out and buy it um yeah i got it bad you're like mm, no. i'm like uh, like I even if i like it i'm like mm. I feel like you're not Everybody, at the extreme. Everybody's got it. Like, I don't... I can dig that, but you're not at the extreme end of that, which is people who have to be different for the sake of being different. Like, the, like you understand what I mean? Like... Oh, yeah, I'm not that... No. Mm. Definitely not. Because that could be a... No, like, I know people with heavy influences in their chart that add to that, you know? Ooh. And it's like like wow you just nothing could ever be normal even if the most comfortable thing for you would be like what 10 other people do you uh, nope i won't be comfortable because i can't be like other people like <laughs> that extreme of it is yeah no we can't do that or like, i don't like that shit. extreme like um aquarians who like isolate themselves yep yeah like people give capricorn and um Pisces shit because they they self isolate but really Aquarius be on that shit too and they oh, do yeah. that shit for a real long time Scorpio too now I think about it but you know that's a given for them um, but yeah Aquarians like they they be on some shit <laughs> But I love their energy. It's just um, at the same time, I think my emotion, emotional nature, they, they, it's like can't compute. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for them to understand that you, the, the detachment or um, any of the urgency not to feel confined. Because sometimes I think they feel that other people's emotions are trying to confine them. Not that they don't like dealing with them because we think about, you know, Aquarius has Pisces energy in its second house. So there's a value towards understanding emotions. But I think what it feels like is their commitment to freedom, like fixed air, like 
means air's everywhere. So if you commit it to to air, you're gonna your freedom's very important. You don't want to feel restricted. It's like movement should be able to be made, even if that movement's a thought, if it's physical, whatever. Um, right. You know, especially since it's a projective sign as an air sign. You know, so movement is a little bit more important, or projection is more important than so. I get that a lot of people like they just don't have them. No, they understand them. They just process them differently, usually through the filter of intellect and thought instead of just the fear. Because, well, I guess it's weird to me because I'm water dominant because it's like they intellectualize things that are not really intellectual. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like those yeah. two things are separate. You know, yeah. um, I suppose you can mix them. You can have a healthy balance of them, but like um, at times it seems like they can be just devoid of it. Yeah. And it's it, it comes off as strange, like um, especially like with the moons. But outside of that, like they're great. Um, I agree. Like, cause they're, um, they take you as you are, like for real, they take you as you come and, um, they're not really judgmental people and, you know, they themselves have their own, um, individuality, but at the same time, um, they have some similarities with Pisces. I've noticed that Aquarius takes bits and pieces from the group that they're in to kind of build themselves if that makes sense like they find value value in the dis dissolving of everything together so you can just take pieces of stuff like that you get yeah, from so here and there it. yeah yeah that's pisces in the second like, too yep um pieces of their person or makes up pieces of their personality is strange but um yeah aquarians <laughs> they're funny too like um with most i want to say the funniest conversations that i've ever fucking heard in my life were during mercury and aquarius transits like that shit is gold because they just they come out of nowhere with stuff and it's just it's funny especially when they're talking to a gemini <laughs> Gemini and Aquarius talking and what arguing in one room. Oh my God. And like, you know, it's Gemini can but boring. around pretty much anybody. And you know, Aquarius ain't going for that shit and they like to troll anyway. So yes. it's just <laughs> it's hilarious. Hilarious. I think that like <laughs> there there wouldn't be fun without Aquarius, even though some people are just so put off by them. You know, when you see hate about a certain sign, there's such a, it's not that they're the most hated sign or anything like that. It's like the way people speak about the detest that they have for them. It just feels so heavy, like so yeah. strong. Like you're like, damn, like, you really the don't like them. Depths of your soul, like, damn, who hurt you? <laughs> like that type of thing. And I get it because that know-it-all energy is there. Like it's similar to like part of that, like, you know, Sag kind of has too, but Aquarius is so committed to it. It really doesn't, they, neither one of them really care. I feel like that energy is like very, all right, I'm on to the next, you know, they're not really dependent upon whether or not anyone is accepting what they're doing or liking what they're doing. Like that, that is right. not as much of a consideration. It's more like, just here to bring the truth to you. You can take it or you can leave it, bitch. I don't I don't give a fuck. Yes, yes. <laughs> I will say that the Aquarius energy and as we're coming up uh, upon like, you know, the great conjunction. I don't, I'm not mad at like people wondering about that or anything. I don't want that to come off like that, but it's kind of like, I feel like people look at events and get so hyped up about them that <laughs> they miss the opportunity for how they, that's going to affect them personally. Like, it's like, well, what's going to happen in the world? You're looking outside of yourself. How are you going to use this energy? Where is it impacting you? Do you even know? Like, exactly. 
That part's important. Say what now? I said that part's important and people like miss that. It's like, you know, I mean, I have seen videos and there's been different theories and, you know, some people are saying ages are shifting and this is going on and that is going on. And I'm like, I would rather be helping people figure out what's going on with them <laughs> or how they can utilize it. I mean, we're all going to be impacted by different things that are going on. We, we just came out of a, you know, some retrogrades and Neptune going direct was interesting because I always felt like, first of all, that's, it's, it's, it's kissing my son right now. And, and it's been hovering around there for a while, even when it was direct You're before. Being, so Nep- so tired of Neptune. Yes, Neptune, I'm sick of your ass. Oh my God. Is it in your, uh, what house is it in for you? So right now it's in my sixth. It's two degrees okay. away from my son in my palace. So how has that been affecting you? Bitch. Listen. <laughs> Well, I find that when it went retrograde, I really felt like I couldn't trust anything because it felt like shit was getting really real about things getting revealed. Like I was like, wait, like just situations, the like the way I looked at things, like I was looking at the same things over again and they ain't seem right. And I was like, ooh, there's a part of me that likes that because as a 20 degree Pisces, I'm in the Scorpio Deccan and Scorpio Dwai. So that gives it that two, like I, I'm i very Scorpionic about my shit. Like, seriously, like I want to know why. I need to know what I'm dealing with. But the Piscean essence to it when Neptune is moving direct, you know, that has more of the effect of its natural expression, which can be to cast a mystery over things. So I like the mystery because then I go underneath it. And I felt like, it literally during the retrograde it was like i didn't even have to look for shit like it was popping back up but there was a part of me that didn't like that i like having i like the game of having the to guess to yeah like or to pay attention enough i always string things together later like random things will come to you and i'm like i I tuck it i tuck it i tuck it and then and things make sense it that wasn't even happening shit was just coming up and it was like whoa Oh, I, oh, oh, shit. Okay, I see what that is. Whoa. Oh, 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 okay. God damn. And like, this is the lens. Like, I tell people when I talk about your sun sign, you're going to often hear me speak about like it's literal glasses you have on your contacts, your view, because you are constantly drawn to your sun. It's a huge beacon of light. And it's the the way through which you're gazing at everything that's happening, you know? So I think it's very important that people understand. This is your. This is an essence. People really, people really do need to understand that part. Yes, it's, this is your essence coming from you. So when something's impacting your son, a lot of things are happening. Or the ruler of you. your son, or the ruler yes. of your big three, for yes. that matter. Yeah, listen, I, I was like, oh my god, it's like I, I just. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, that's our ruler. He went to sleep and it was like, uh... Hey, what are you doing? Where is the fog? Where is some of this mystery for me to have to swim through? And then, you know what? Here's that shit was hella apparent. Hella. It was like... That shit happened in my second... Or is happening in my second house. Like, bitch. <laughs> and I just realized it just dawned on me. You know, like, the reason why... I. No, no, no. It's a challenge to your illusions, your drugs, your (laughs) anything that lets you leave reality and be in the clouds and dreamy. Listen, oh, I I agree with you. Present present young fish, um, young mermaid, whatever you want to call yourself. (laughs) Listen. I realized it, it, it made me come to a lot of realizations, a hell oh, a lot. Um, especially with my money. Um mm. I I don't know if I told house, you. This. Mamas. Huh? I said in your second house, right, mamas? Mm. Listen, and it's nestled like right in between my Mercury and my son. Like well real damn. Cool. so 
well, I don't know if I should say all this on live. Let's just say I ended up realizing that I wasted over $4,000 on some insurance that I didn't need. Mm hmm. What? If that ain't Neptune in the second, like it literally, like under the radar. Under the radar. Undetected. I'm gonna have to tell you after we get off this live. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, I can't get into details because that's just too personal. But gotcha. yeah, like, um, yeah, realizing where my money's been going, what I'm spending my money on. You know, Neptune dissolves whatever it touches. And bitch, it's been dissolving the fuck out of my money. Like, I'm ready for Neptune to get the fuck out of my second house. Because... Neptune transits be long. Oh my God, it's been there for so long. Like, oh my it God. Takes, like, and for anybody listening and wondering why that is, it's because Neptune is one of the outer planets which take longer to go around the sun. So they're not moving as quickly and therefore will not move as quickly through your chart. Right. That shit so, hits you. You're like, damn, you just don't, you have right here. You, this way you stay in sun. Seriously. Seriously, this this way. I forgot how long the cycle is for uh Neptune because it's the longest one. Um, but like just looking at Pluto, <laughs> you know, uh well Pluto I got beef with Pluto. Pluto, Pluto is Pluto. going to Pluto is on its it doesn't even go around the sun in the same way that the others do. It does its own thing and it takes for fucking ever. What is that oh, 248 really? years to, to make a entire Pluto cycle from the start of one to the end? all the way around. Listen, it be hanging out for a long time places. <laughs> it, it definitely, I keep, I, I must say this every episode, it, I can't wait till it gets the fuck out of my fourth house and it's still going to be there when that's it goes to the Aquarius. Right hmm? That's where it's at for you right now, your fourth? Oh my God. Pluto been in my fourth house. It went, let's see, it went into its current sign in 2008 and it was at the end of my third. So I guess for what eight years this motherfucker's been in my fourth house i'm sick of it sick of it well how long has pluto been in cap well it was Since in my fourth house for a really long time that was fun um pluto going through your 12th bitch i don't wish that on nobody that shit fell right pluto fell right on my moon Oh my God! Don't hold on. I'm sure that was. Yeah. Look, me making me look stuff up just to make sure. <laughs> I'm sure looking at this chart. Like, let me see. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna pull it. Oh my! Oh my God! So let's see. Um. Yeah, it's hold on. It's not what I want. <clears throat> yes. So I just went back what to 2008, December 6, 2008. Pluto was at zero degrees and 20 minutes of Capricorn. It was damn within three degrees of my moon. Whole I was also in my Saturn return. Yikes. That shit was not fun. Oh my Ooh. God. In my third house too. Bonuses. It was my Saturn return. Sucked. Like sucked. And then you had things like that happening. Wow. I, I'm working on we want to do a thing um I want people to be part of it. So it would be nice too if you can contribute. I, I asked Apollonia to do this in the future with me. I want people to see the practicality of astrology because like you said, you like you're skeptical. I'm skeptical too. I'm trying to debunk, debunk stuff, but I am a digital pack rat. So, you know, I would learn things and then pull charts and look at stuff and I'm like, holy shit. So, you know, when you're seeing these things correspond in this way, you know, I want people to be able to understand how you can do that. I'm going to use myself as a guinea pig, too. <laughs> like, because the shit that I, listen, the shit that happened to me that started with my Saturn return, holy shit. 
you can see the astrology all up and through there just just through everything and i at that time i was not even looking at astrology like i do now it, it had not become a tool that i used and i think it would have been completely different if, if i had, had known. known i probably still would yeah, do i said the same thing like wow yeah how different my life would have been if i had uh just dis- discovered astrology sooner mm-hmm. but i'm glad that i discovered it when i did because it allowed me to um, just learn it in the layers like I needed to. Yeah, I can see that. Especially when my Mercury in Pisces, because uh, <laughs> and it's in my second house, it's slow. Um, mm. <laughs> it's very slow um, to understanding things. And then like my, my Virgo moon, it needs you to really break it down into little pieces. And then I can put it together and then I'll take off after that. But like, um, yeah, you 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 really gotta uh make it make sense for me, or else I'm not I'm not gonna understand. And it's we I know it's weird because people kind of take that as a challenge to their authority, and I'm like, I'm not questioning your decision. I just need to understand it so that I can carry it out for you. Like that's yep. kind of how that. I get Works it. For me. But, uh, to understand people's idiosyncrasies and habits and things and to be able to see them interwoven in a chart because we're also complicated and I think a lot of people forget how complicated human beings are and it winds up being like you know people are labeled one way but then you have little things about you that make you this way and you know how you're predisposed to acting and what what resonates with you or what touches you in a certain way certain transits will happen that'll activate parts of you more so you know than others there's so many different things to look at and it's like once you dive into it you can see how other people be dealing with it (laughs) which (laughs) woo yes like when i see people with virgo in the 12th i already know what's up (laughs) that's me (laughs) yeah i'm like okay (laughs) Oh God! Yeah, a little bit of what I'm going through. <laughs> oh my God! I hate it. <laughs> it's just like yeah, you need down. to relax. You need to give yourself a chance to like. It's okay to not do things sometimes. I know. And then like you beat yourself up because you're not doing shit and. It's like, why should I, force- I be relaxing when it's shit to do? Like, stop that shit. When I force myself to take a break when I force myself to take a break and then I wind up, sometimes I it'll be multiple days, but I haven't taken a break in between them at all. Then I'll feel bad. There's a little guilt on the shoulder. I got Need your ass beats. <laughs> Saturn is there. Daddy Saturn is there. Retrograde too. So he just stands on my shoulder and it's like, so there's this unnecessary guilt at times too. I understand. It's 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 really a strange. Oh, I don't like it. Would not recommend. Ghetto. Ghetto. <laughs> Do not incarnate as a Virgo unless you <laughs> want to volunteer to stress. <laughs> just <laughs> notice every goddamn thing for like just no reason and break it down real quick and then be like, oh god, and like. I don't even know and how then to it's explain. Like, wow, it. you didn't even need to do all that. Like no. You really didn't. <laughs> But, my, but automatically do it. That's that's the interesting part. Like nobody asked you to do all that, and you just did it. A thankless job. <laughs> the servants of the world. I swear. No, seriously. The, no wonder. Like the, it is helpful for people to be able to understand things or have things broken down. People don't think about that. Like think of just regular conversations we have with other people where they lack an understanding of like what you're talking about. So there could be miscommunication. Virgo is going to hear what you're saying and extract from it the parts that like what what's the important shit here? What do we get to keep? Like you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I can really get this. That's such an important thing that a lot of people don't think about may not be a strength for everyone else you know no. like, well, and when you think of all the earth signs working together like and through the evolution of the earth signs like the first one is taurus you, you know taurus needs to know what it has and then virgo decides well okay how do we reduce really what 
what is all this? And then Capricorn manages it. So it's like they work together, they come together, you know, in a way where the evolution of it makes sense. If you even sit where, think of where any of those signs sit in their order, as far as zodiac order, you get such an understanding for how those energies work together. So even looking in your exactly. own chart, when you need to be practical about something, when you need something to um, to understand the practical parts of yourself, either looking for those three signs or you're going to look at your earth houses or the houses that are ruled by earth naturally. You know what I mean? So there's so many different little hints and clues there, but like we're going to be in Capricorn season soon. And I want people to think about, you know, have you paid attention to shit? Because before you try to go manage some shit like Capricorn does, have you Virgoed? Have you Virgo before you Capricorn? today. <laughs> and before that, have you Taurus? Because if you don't understand <laughs> the one That's that begat the other one and the one before, then guess what? Don't don't try to Capricorn me. Don't try to boss me to fuck around if you ain't figured out what you had, Taurus, and really reduced it down and got rid of the unnecessary shit, Virgo. I don't want to. Because you're going to get an employee like me and I'm an Aquarius, your ass. Oh I my God, and then you'll feel dumb. dumb. Huh? And, so, and then they're going to feel dumb. Got, like once you they get Aquarius by you because they didn't do, they do earth diligence. This is, this is why I tell Aquarius. people they need to pay attention to this shit because the, that right there, Erica, that right there. So important. You understood it right away. The cat rising, you can't rise to the occasion until you've perfected your other energies. So you, and I don't mean perfect it like you don't make any mistakes. You just recognize them and how to work with them. Mm -hmm. Listen. And then the opportunities that your earth, I mean, your uh, water presents earth. to your earth. <laughs> earth. <laughs> <laughs> I like saying earth. <laughs> Ever since. I don't know what it is. I think it's that um, Tyler, the creator song, it's called Earthquake. And I was like, earth, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, you know, your so water good. energy too, then grants the opportunity to that stable earth energy. We can build stuff if you have water and dirt that's mud. It can harden and create something concrete. You can also yep. muddy waters <laughs> with it. So depending on how yeah. it wants to be used. But, you know, I think if people can see the shit that you can actually look to these, even just breaking it down by element and then the science, whatever. There's so much information here. It explains everything. Everything. Get into it. Yes, immediately. Please. Like, <laughs> if you, if you, like you don't even have to be committed to this shit. Like, cause I'm, I'm, I can't say that like I'm consistent with my astrology studies, but seeing how far I've advanced thus far, like it's just like just stay with it, just stay. And if you are consistent, like you just, there's no way that you can say this shit is not legitimate, right. and that it doesn't help you in some form or fashion, like. I'm telling you like there's no way for me to even be you know like begin to describe all of the things that astrology can do for you yes but man like I said when you give it a legitimate chance it's real it is very real y'all and like, seriously, I say this all the time, but you want to make sure that no matter what's going on, you understand at the very least what house that planet is in, in, in your chart. There's a lot of other things past then too, but like, just start there. That's why we tell everybody y'all all 12 signs, no matter where the sun is at some point during the year, it's going to light up a part of your chart with a conjunction. And even still, like, for example, like, I'm a person, like, I could say, you know, like, I don't have any Taurus in my chart, because there are no physical planets in, Taur in Taurus in my chart, but mm -hmm. my IC is there, which is, you know, um, your home, your, your family dynamic and things, so that's very Taurus-like, and it's also, you know, just how I go about, you know, family affairs and how I nurture people outside of my moon, and, um, that security is there really heavy too because Taurus and yeah. Cancer working together need mm -hmm. security. You know that fourth yeah, house with that Taurus? Yes. Right. 
Woo, people with uh, Taurus in the fourth, like these are really loyal ass people. And like when you have them in your life, like you have a, fa- a family member, like um, that's the best way I can describe it. And like, they really value Cancerian themes. Um, so again, family, the cookouts, mm-hmm. um, just uh, privacy. Oh my God. <laughs> There, these those are very private people as well. Like, um, I think I was talking to you like off off the lab about you know like um, giving people like their boundaries and things. Like, yeah. I really respect people's boundaries. Like, if you have a boundary and you vocalize that, I will never cross that boundary. Again. Amen. Um. So yeah, and then like th- that's just my IC, my my son and my uh. My Mercury is in my second house. That's more Taurus themed things. So I can't sit here and say I don't have no Taurus energy because it's all you correct. definitely do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's well, especially that sun that. there, baby. Woo! We, I, we need to go out to eat together. Yes, I've been saying I need me a uh, like a, a food uh, a food buddy with benefits. Like can food buddy with benefits. I'm gonna have to fi- figure out a cute way to say that, but yeah, I know just, a freeze. <laughs> like just somebody I can go out on dinner dates with and like just eat food. Like eating food is an intimate experience for me. Yes, it is. Like, you know, like I don't <laughs> like, and I'm picky with my shit too. Like I spare no expenses when it comes to my food. I want the best of the best, and like I'm even a person like I really. I was just telling my brother this the other day. I really don't even like going out to your average restaurant like Applebee's Fridays, shit like that because the food it tastes cheap. It just does. And I'm so particular. I don't want to give them a hard time. I just don't. Like I'd rather make the shit myself how I know that I want to make it because I'm a good cook. And I just leave it at that. And I know that nine times out of 10, when I go to this restaurant, unless it's like a really upscale one Mm -hmm. or, you know, just like maybe one of those um, hole in the wall diners or bars, like those are really good. But um, I love finding a random. (laughs) Yes, those are the best. But like, like the commercial ones, like I, you ain't going to catch me in It's because everything has to be like, they all have a process that has to be the same at everyone. And you know, and then stuff. it's like the really cheap ingredients yes. and then like, oh my god and then you can taste it like I just I don't want that like I wish people would stop going to those places like love yourself like the mozzarella sticks are good and shit but like <laughs> <laughs> I can't fuck with that other shit like mm-mm. no I like I like the the shit that's memorable and, and it's funny because even before I understood this about myself, my mom used to always say, first of all, I could be rewarded with food. Oh my God. When I, when me I did too. get on my report card, oh, you take me, she will take me to a restaurant that I like or a new, or listen. If you want to apologize to me, bring me some food you know I like. Listen. <laughs> they even used to make fun of me. They're like, damn, Janae remembers where we traveled by the quality of the food. Like, like I would literally like be like, remember when we went to and identify it by food? I remember having rice pilaf. Now, mind you, this was at some place simple like Red Lobster. For some reason, the rice pilaf, every time we ate at one in Canada, their rice pilaf was popping. It's like they had different rules than down here. They had put little shrimp mean? in them without you asking. Like it was just, a, I noticed little things about places and I'm like, mm, because of the food. So I get it. With that sun in the second, I was like, you'd be fun to eat with. Go oh, and I know the good places to eat. I know where to get. <laughs> yeah. So like me, my, my baby daddy, he's a moon and Taurus. It all makes so much sense now. Cause we used to be on that shit, like going on dinner dates and shit, like just going to eat, being fat as fuck, like getting high <laughs> and going to eat. <laughs> That's my shit. Like I love that too. Like th- listen, I do a little <laughs> dance too. Don't, don't tell me, me I can. Too? Oh my god, you and you a Venus and Taurus, right? Yep, Venus and Taurus, and it's it's technically conjunct 
my progressed son right now. My son is at zero oh, degrees. So, bitch, I went 30 years I being a progressed in Aries. Like in front of my brother, because I had just smoked. Um, I had just smoked and we were talking and he was showing me um, uh, a logo for a podcast that he came up with that mm-hmm. I'm going to be part of. Okay. And, yeah, right? I know. Just like the universe wants me to talk. Yes. The universe wants me to talk. So I'm like, okay, let me stop fighting this shit before I get my ass whipped by Saturn. Because my Saturn return is like right around the corner. Oh, <laughs> oh, love. I feel yeah. you. Yeah, so I'm like, let me stop. I'm not going to doom and gloom you. Saturn just wants you to live and walk in your purpose. And if that's not what's going on right now, Saturn's going to be like, guess what? Saturn and Uranus, because Uranus has kind of been been whipping my ass too um, in my fourth house. Like, and I just, it's it's just, and I know that the ass whipping is just like resistance, my resistance, like um, to to change. Because I got Pluto in my first house right now too. Huh. Um, Ooh, I have it there week. I understand. Um, and you know, like, um, I need people to realize that you know, like Pluto, ain't um, he ain't shit to play with. But once you get through the flames, you reap the reward. Like you're a whole new person. That's like, and that's birthday, you know, that's what I'm going through right now. I'm becoming a new person. Like. The fact I, I literally just dropped like 40 pounds out of nowhere. Wow. That's some Pluto in the first type shit. Um, I, and I, I literally, I didn't even notice it. Like people had to start telling me like they didn't recognize me. Like, I'm like, do I really look that different? But you know, like at the same time, like my clothes are hanging off my body and mm-hmm. but like, it's like, I didn't notice it. And I guess that's because Neptune is in my second right now, you know, affecting yeah. how I view myself or whatever. But um, I was like, dog, oh, like, wow. Wow. Um, I definitely um, took a major change in how I look, um, especially with my hair. Um, I've been doing all types of crazy stuff with it. And, um, you know, like with me being a Capricorn rising, like, I've always had like just the black hair, you know, um, and when I pick a style that works for me, I tend to keep on doing it. That's some Capricorn shit. Like that's earth sign shit in general, but like, yeah, if it works, especially Capricorn rising Saturn in the first, like them, the motherfuckers that have like the boring hairstyles or <laughs> same ass hairstyle, like you can guarantee like every day they're gonna wear this hairstyle that's Capricorn <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying like let me keep this tradition of my hair being the same that works yeah that's like, been working. Um, yeah because you know they busy they like I ain't got time to be worrying about my fucking hair and shit like I'm gonna keep it real cute you know like it might be in a bun or whatever I'm good for wearing buns too um so yeah just Capricorn in plain colors plain corporate appropriate colors black <laughs> just be ready <laughs> might be able to get away with blonde maybe brown you know mute color mute yeah. color nudes and stuff like that but but, we know okay. it'll vary for people like some more colorful people might switch it up a little bit like depending on what their chart is yeah, like but in like, general like, all the themes you're talking about you know it's like it's business time basically yeah like for, it's, it's like i'm not trying to distract you with all that rah-rah shit like let's get down to it like hair and I don't need my hair in my face right now. Like, right. let's go. And like, um, that's why I really respect Capricorns because they don't, they do not bullshit. Like when it's time to play, we'll play. But right now it's time to work. But um, especially Mars and Capricorn. Uh, Mars and Capricorn, there. And Capricorn. Yes. I, and I know a lot of them. And again, this is why I'm like, wow, it's just mind blowing how you see the energy at work. Like when these motherfuckers want something, they are going to get it. There's that's not even a question about if they're going to get it. It's more so how and um them eliminating their obstacles, whether it's a physical one or a you know, just like a <laughs> my brother in there now yelling. Um 
he's <laughs> Mars and Capricorn, but uh, <laughs> he and they're yelling, just do it. On cue. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. But yeah, um, hilarious. But um, yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, when, oh, and when Capricorn lends their help to you, you should probably take it because one, if they offer you help and you don't take it, they're probably never going to help you ever again. <laughs> or Can you say that? Help. Can you repeat that? My Capricorn moon just screams because <laughs> like with joy. <laughs> like they're, if a Capricorn, whether it's sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, whatever, if they offer you help, and you do not take it, they will never, ever in life help you again. <laughs> You're not wasting like, my time. Yeah, no. Their ruler is the ruler of time, Saturn. Saturn. Yeah, that's their cold shit. And but you know what? Like, it took me a while to fully own that because my Pisces energy made me be like, oh, I'm being nice to people. Listen, when I started <laughs> working for myself and being my own boss, I realized, damn, do I realize I have the right to decide who I'm going to work with and who I'm not going to work with? Listen, exactly. You start. You okay. show me consistently. You don't okay. listen. You can't get into the line with the patterns that I'm setting up for you to work. Then no, I don't. I don't know. We're not. No. 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 Can't collaborate with you. Can't work with you. I've had to. It's like you. You just go sit in the corner. That's your. That's your job. <laughs> listen, you go sit down. It's and it's terrible because in some capacities, when you work with people like I, I may not be at uh, the liberty to take care of everything for you. But if I tell you how things have to be done, you don't do them or or, or set them up that way. I like helping people, especially with their businesses and different things, just because I've always worked well in different capacities doing that. People don't listen. I, ain't, I'm like, all right, that was a waste <laughs> of time. Next. Yeah, and Capricorns hate wasting their time because, like, I could have been doing something else, bitch. Like <laughs> that made me some money. <laughs> that was man, productive. You gotta mess with a Capricorn and they money, like, and you know, time is money. So if you messing with a time, that's money. Like, and I understand that so much. I really do, especially with Saturn in my second. Like, if you waste my time, bitch, that's like the ultimate disrespect to me. Yes. And then with me being a Pisces, I love wasting my own time. Yeah, but of course. Time, like this, like, and when I'm helping people, I don't waste time either. Like, if you tell me to be somewhere at four thirty, because you know, like, you got to be at work or a doctor's appointment, I'm gonna be there on time. But any other time, I'm late. I don't get it. It's really ghetto. It's 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 a problem. I'm working on it, but <laughs> uh, this other stuff, like, I'm I'm pretty on time with the shit because I understand that time is important you know that's one thing that you can't get back and I understand that and right. that's something that nobody ever had to teach me this is something that I always inherently knew so when people waste my time I'll be ready to fucking fight I will stab you like for real like do not waste my time like you like this is the reason why I take you know like um <laughs> Why, or I would say why I used to take, um, you know, like breakup so hard or like um, when me and a friend would fall out because yes. it's like I invested all this shit. I and feel I, that. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and you know, uh, it took me a while to realize, you know, cut your losses sooner than later because, you know, people will string you along and waste your time. Yes, they will. And you won't get no compensation for it. And that's why I always wanted to fight people and bring out my emotional Mars and cancer. Like, you got me fucked up right now. Like, yeah. you finna pay for this shit somehow. So <laughs> I had to grow out of that too. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. It, it's a journey. Because it's like, you can't go judo chopping everybody that makes you upset. Yeah. Like, you can't hit people. You know, like I got that from, you know, like roughhousing with my brothers and stuff. But even still, like, I'm not a person that has a jail record. I don't want to have it. And I want to keep it that way. Right. Orange looks 
good on me, but I don't think those jumpsuits will. So I think I'm cool. <laughs> No, I totally, I totally understand that. We don't, we we don't want to um, be behind balls with orange, orange jumpsuits on, especially when you like can track the energies. And so you go, okay, all right, I got to find something else to do with that. You know what I mean? Like I have to find another use use for it, which I feel like Capricorn Risings especially would understand if something is practical or whatever, you know, you'll figure out a way to put it in there. So even with that Piscean influence you was talking about, it's like that practicality is like ruling <clears throat> your energy that you incarnated with. You know, that's Saturn rule, that's discipline and, and a lot of different things that some people may not resonate as easily with. So like you said, you offer your help to somebody. I hope that they um, see how valuable it is because no way you don't turn. The Capricorn offers you help for one that's, they see your potential. So that's one, like you have to understand yes. Capricorn don't even give a shit enough to get involved in other people's affairs. So if they extend themselves to you, that's speaking volumes. Like it really is. Thank you. That is key. Baby, they... <laughs> I love how you said that. They the, they the motherfuckers that will they'll drive by and watch you struggle. <laughs> you know when they can when they have full capacity to help you. So um, definitely take it, and it's you can rest assured it's good help. Um, Capricorn ain't gonna give you no bullshit. No, not For at all. Part. For the most part, it's, it's gonna be practical help, but um, it's gonna be good shit. And if it chose to help you, it saw your value because it wouldn't even attempt to help you if it didn't think that you would benefit from it and something would be done excellently. <laughs> because I'm just saying, that's that's just what it is. I want you to let them know too um, what you are currently involved in or working on. So, so I... Currently, um, I just launched my website, thegoldenmystic.com. And there I have a lot of merchandise um, surrounding astrology, um, themes on astrology. Um, I have tarot hoodies that are very original. So um, definitely check those out. And I also offer my astrology readings on there now. Um, And I also have some custom astrology jewelry underway that I'm working on. So that's really exciting. But yeah, um, my website is up and you it's ready to shop. And there are many more things coming as far as like what I plan to uh, offer on my site. But that is currently what we have. So yeah, um, you have your readings and your tarot hoodies and your astrology teas. <clears throat> Y'all can check that out at the Golden Mystic, M-Y-S-T-I-C dot Com. Com. I didn't want to forget about that. So that's why I was like, let me make sure I, I said yeah. something about it. But um, shop. hey, look, look, it's Christmas coming and people want to buy stuff. Look, I like unique stuff. I like I'm stuff that I can't you. find other places. No, you definitely not going to um, find it. These are original made by me. Um, and like I said, um, the jewelry that's coming is going to be custom. So don't ask for the vendor because the vendor is me. <laughs> Tis me. I, I mean, unless you might want to carry your stuff. Huh? Um, unless they want to carry your your stuff that yeah, you made. And it, let, like, let's talk wholesale. You can definitely inquire me as well. Um, definitely um i'm still working on the getting the facebook page up for the website but all that information will be there as well once okay. that's up. yeah but oh no social media tell them where they can find you on social if you want to be found i should say i, oh, I, I yeah, shouldn't yeah. have said that like that <laughs> assumed <laughs> You can also find me on Twitter um, at The Golden Mystic. Um, and also you can find me on Facebook at Urka. So that's U R space K A if you want to add me on there. She'd be funny, y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Disclaimer like, if, you, if you're not 
if you if you don't want like inappropriate shit down your timeline 24 7 don't don't send it <laughs> don't send a request um because it gets real it gets real um it does just, get real i don't have a filter i do post um inspirational things uh, occasionally and she's I do a well-rounded woman astrology like it's a, i'm i'm a mixed bag uh, i post it all but don't, i'm just saying like don't be shocked Fair listen one. i feel you <laughs> That's all there is to it, but yeah, there's um, definitely a lot to see, um, and I definitely welcome people who who have an interest in astrology because we talk a lot of shit over there. Yes, that's very helpful <laughs> because it's explaining <laughs> it, it what's going on. Going to it, but yeah, um, I do sprinkle in some educational things as well, and I like to talk about astrology with my friends on Facebook. You know, um, we talk about the current things going on and just, you know, uh, personal aspects as well, like whatever, like um, how me and uh, Janae talk, you know, um, like we talked for like, what, an hour before we even got yeah. out here. Girl, we had a whole combo. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the shit I'm on. Yes, so all here. here. <laughs> I, I want people to really think for a second like don't think you can handle some stuff you can't handle i'm just saying if you know you're offended like know don't yourself. even subject yourself <laughs> yeah like if you're easily offended don't bother because i say a lot of things that i really like i would say 80 percent of the stuff i'm just playing <laughs> like I, I literally i like to play and i talk shit that's one of my love languages like if you don't like it get your ass on like <laughs> it's very simple and like the people that understand that they get you know they stay and mm -hmm. like those are the people that I grow close with like and they kick that shit back like it's funny to me most of the time um of course don't be complete don't be disrespectful you know what I mean like yeah. um, there's a fine line but you know as long as we don't cross boundaries we good ma'am so, I listen I'm with you on that because listen people um people it's it's not good to i think just live in an echo chamber where only people who agree with you are around like we do need some challenges but at the same time there is a lot cancer. of huh cancer <laughs> <laughs> libra <laughs> uh in aquarius too yes there's a lot mm -hmm. of hanging around just to be butthurt like though like <laughs> The people it's like you that's what you want obviously so i mean but you don't have to make it a terrible experience for everybody else so don't be coming up on people's pages no yeah, like let me live, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like you Sick. know what this was for you guy here like don't come around here no i feel you because i have that happen to me a lot i say stuff and people are like why did you say it like that look this is how i communicate yeah but then there are some people like oh you know what like this again differences in mercuries when they're apparents um like me communicating with air signs it's very apparent because especially a, some somebody like aquarius like um how do i describe it it's it's like or even virgo like mm -hmm. opposite my mercury like just too focused on the literalism of every word that you say and it's just like i know that words mean things but right right <laughs> that should just be throwing me man it do so like um again understanding somebody's mercury is essential especially if they don't really understand each other because it's going to help you get through those communication um gaps if yeah. you will yeah because y'all cannot be on the same page and it's because y'all don't y'all don't think alike y'all the pathway to how you get from a to b is just it's different yeah and if you can understand the differences then you say okay well i'm gonna have to be more blah blah like like you'll know how to gear yourself towards people more too yeah you know like okay i'm gonna have to be a lot more patient with this person right right 
it's 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 amazing what you can find there which is why there's such a gift in this then you don't have to spend so much time being frustrated or spinning your wheels on what to do like, like, why is this person like this? yes you can see why and figure out how you can work with it the being able to work with it part though is the part that i don't think a lot of people really think about like what what the hell is the point of me knowing how a person is if i'm not going to use that in some way to, for better and easier flowing conversations and relationships with people like it has to be useful in some way or else what's the point of knowing it like exactly exactly we need people to understand Ooh, what is this what is that dude's name oh i wanted I, I knew there was something i wanted to talk about today that, that okay. dude on youtube black guy that pretty much went ham on this this girl oh, on the lady dating advice or something like that yeah i saw i saw the video oh God, has anybody pulled his chart yet i don't because I, I don't know i don't think that they have oh my god what the i fuck? can't even remember his name because he just kept i can't copying. either i'm just like is it james something you know we should probably look this up oh i don't remember what it was I want to say it was like James something. Because that video has been floating everywhere. But like, the Did thing about it? it is, you know. I would love to break down his chart. <laughs> yes. Now, listen, I, I, I try to be as objective as possible about things when mm -hmm. I am viewing them. Number one, I don't know the complete circumstances under which this interaction happened. Like, you know, is how familiar was she with this dude? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, she, with his, you from know? my understanding, she was just a call. Like, they don't know each other personally. Um, She was just calling in. But she's familiar with his show or what he does is what I'm saying. Right. She was, fam okay. yeah, she was familiar with him. And I guess he had never talked to her prior to that interaction. But um, I was trying to figure out if he speaks about other things in such a blunt way. Because if I don't know that, like, I can't, like, I really can't oh, judge that interaction. Mean, like, do you understand what I'm saying? That single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Because though, uh, like, I opt to, my first, my first instinct, instinct is to be kind. But I can right, see why well, someone well, could say, well, I'm just being, like, what do you, like, this is how I talk. Did you watch the whole thing? No, but I, I just saved it to my watch later, what, his whole show, the two hours of it. Oh, not the whole Somebody thing. Somebody gave I, me I a link like to maybe, that. Um, it was like a five minute clip, and it's the way that he ended it that really made me just go like, "Oh my god!" Oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, no, I, I implore you to watch it, and then like we could talk about it. But like, I was just like, "Oh shit!" You know, like I, at first I was taking it as like, "Okay, he's being blunt." Okay, you know, that's just his delivery. Okay, but, like, it's the way he ended it. I was like, "God damn!" Oh, maybe like, I didn't see it. I was like, okay, did he take that personally, or like, what? He didn't have to go that damn hard, like. Damn, sir. Yeah, I was like, is it uh, is everything okay? Like, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, ma man, I, I I I really felt for her at that point. Like, yeah, she wasn't she wasn't listening, but at the same time, like. He got he got kind of disrespectful. I ain't gonna lie. Like I, yeah. See the the part like I have to watch the whole thing, but I will say this is probably why I would not do that. <laughs> Meaning, yeah. like, like go on that man show and like that's probably why I wouldn't like. I, I'm not doing anything against her. I'm just saying, like you never know how things can turn like that and. Like, I just would rather not, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because that definitely went left. I didn't expect him to take it there. And he was just really condescending in the in his delivery. And again, like you said, maybe that's how he does everything, but. And maybe I should put a, it's a like link the, to the that. The energy was just real hateful, you know? Yeah, she was saying something like she's a six, she makes six figures. And she wanted a man the same, and he was like, "Well, six figure men don't want women, average women like you." And he was like, "Your average looking after you, you know, like you take all your makeup." I mean, he was going in, and I'm like, "Okay, even if all that's true, like mm -hmm. the way that he ended that call was disrespectful." 
Like, like I um, feel like that conversation told us a lot about how he looks at things, I guess. And yeah. that's not to say other people don't as well, but I feel like, well, okay, maybe I take... I, yeah, this is just one person's opinion. Yeah. You know? But like, I feel like um, although he was telling the truth, he wasn't being cr- constructive with his, you know, with his... He sounded, he did he just sound her. pissed he, off? Yeah, he was just tearing her down. And I was like, damn, like, okay. Um, so basically like her issue is confidence. So, but he didn't speak on her confidence. He I just got you. Into her, you know what I mean? Like he didn't. It probably didn't even come off like he was trying to really help her, and maybe and no, that, that that tells me I don't want to really probably really listen hateful. to him. And I was just like, oh, like when you hear him talk to it, it's almost like, well, do we all know each other? Because he... <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Um. And you know me, like I've learned how to look at things really objectively over the last couple of years. You know, I don't typically get stirred up how I do anymore when it comes to things that pop up in the media or the news. Um, Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was just like, wow. (laughs) That wasn't necessary. Listen. Did did he call her out? I can't remember if he called her out or not. He called her out her name. I don't remember that. Hold on. I I, I don't want to say, I want to say I remember him. I want to go back and look at it now. I was like, can we find it and show it? Because technically. I wonder if we can, can we play the clip? There's a way to share. um, Yeah. Matter of fact, let me see something. But where, oh my God. Now where the hell did I find it? Where is it? What am I looking up? Don't, I hate when I have to look up something and I don't know how to describe it. I don't remember saving <laughs> this anywhere. Um, let's see. Like this, my Mercury and Pisces just went all dumb. It's like man rips woman. <laughs> how fucking general is that? My Virgo energy is so <laughs> mad at me so right now. Hey, I'd be surprised when it finds <laughs> what I'm looking for anyway. Like yes, yes, yes. <laughs> smart ass search engine you like oh. I'm pr- I'm pretty sure it's I I told you I had the two hour video I think but nobody wants to watch I didn't know like, it was the whole two hours he talked to her for two hours no he had a show I think I guess he has a show oh okay okay because I'm like my understanding is that that segment was only like a couple yeah you know, no, like, like I guess she came she joined him on his show and you know that's... Yeah, he humiliated her. Wow, we. Um, I'm trying I... to see if I can find it. Damn, nope. I thought I put it in my watch later. See, this makes me mad. What is it called? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, see, now I'm doing it, and I don't even know what to call it. And I'm like, I know what. I... Excuse me. Um, you know what? It's because I ain't ate today. Listen, I'm about to start eating snacks on screen. Oh, I've been, you know, <laughs> that's what I've been on. But I just know I'm gonna be crunching on the camera and stuff because I'm about like I really want to eat these cheeses. Ain't this terrible? See, look. <laughs> you know me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna yeah, I'm enjoy my snack. But um, I was trying to think of who had that or who had posted it. That would have helped me, you know, figure out where to locate it and be able to. Yeah, play I it. can't even remember it. Like, because somebody had shared it on my timeline and I had watched it. And I'm like, who did that? Who was it? The fuck is it? It's like James. Charles or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, I'm just playing. Jay, I know who James Charles is. But, um, <laughs> um, some shit. I don't know. Um, Let me try. Why is my nose getting stuffy all of a sudden? I still ain't fine this year. This is terrible. I said, I, I like. I'm was thinking, of, where did I see it on Instagram? Where did I see it? Period. I can't even think of the dude's name. Oh 
Damn, it's we're we are literally trying to take <laughs> the time out to find it. I know, cause it's it's so simple. I know it's so simple, and I'm getting upset. Y'all see Mercury and Pisces at work with us yeah, too right, right now. Two of us to figure it out. That's so Is funny. yours retrograde too? Yes, yes. God, we know exactly what we're talking about, but can't explain it to you guys. Because you have to actually formulate the word, and I don't think it works. I, I, I think I'm, it I'm like, what, what <laughs> describes this? Like, it was all over my timeline yesterday and the day before, and now I can't find it. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing, y'all. Like, who talked about it's this? Two of us that we can't figure Let's see. I'm going to think about who I saw talk about it, and I'm like, Maybe they have a link to. I know I saw people talking about it. Oh, okay. Wait. Because uh, I just seen somebody push. The woman called yeah, herself Kevin average called first. Kevin Samuels. That's his name. Okay. Kevin Samuels. Thank you. Okay. Because I'm like, okay, because the girl that I watched, she reviewed it and she was like, dating coaches are scams. This nigga called himself a dating coach. Look at this nigga. Oh, I see the picture. Look at this fool. And you're a style consultant, bitch. Where? Where? Pull this nigga chart. Kevin Samuels. Here we go. Because <laughs> the audacity is too much. It's the audacity for me. All right, let's see. What the fuck was this nigga for? Well, we're th- now that I didn't found him, I'm like, okay. What does it say his birthday is? Boom, 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 pulling people's charts. Wait. Please. So obviously he's not big enough because Google don't know who he, this nigga is, but he got the audacity to talk to people like he I got all mad because it's, but this thing says this is. I found a Twitter post of him wishing PayPal happy birthday on March 13th. Because at first, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, this. Yeah, this I saw that too. And I'm like, nah, that ain't it. So damn, you got all this controversy, sir. Well, and you I, ain't even, we don't even know who you are. Like, I'm trying to, I really got to do my research. <laughs> this nigga made me do broad work. Yeah, like, I, oh, God, I got to search to, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Look, <laughs> she this is so. making me mad. See, now I'm on a mission. See, now my Virgo, <laughs> my Mars and Virgo's mad. If Pisces, if Mercury wasted time in Pisces on the ship, Virgo needs it to be have done practically. Like, for there has to be a reason this happened. Know what I mean? This nigga got on a jacket from Fashion Nova. Uh, is it wrong that I'm like, why are there men's clothes on there? I'm, I feel terrible that that's my opinion, but... Oh, wow. This... Oh, my God. I can't wait to get his shirt. Where the fuck is this nigga's birthday at? Like... Let's see. Um... All I see is people posts of people talking about it. I still can't find this video. And I cannot see this nigga's birthday. Oh, man. This sucks. This is interesting. Well, we tried, y'all. Well, we, we tried. did. <laughs> I'm like, somebody please pull this bitch-ass nigga shark because you're talking too much <laughs> shit. Google can't even find your shit. Like, but you... Okay. Says he's an image consultant. And I found his Facebook page. Yeah, but, but it's not like a personal one where you can look at his. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, no, I mean there's there's nothing to see on it really. It's not there's nothing on there. We need a uh where's a Scorpio baby? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do I have this to like, look like he shop at Forever 21? Oh my God. I'm done. You got a Capricorn rising coming at your neck right now, sir. 
Like, it be the ugliest people. <laughs> he has a lot of confidence. Oh my god! So you I, think it's some Leo shit in there? Listen, he did try to be diplo- You know what? He did try to be diplomatic about he it. He did after. initially. Yeah, he did. That's some Leo shit. He definitely did. And then he gave her what she was looking for, I guess. But Uh, 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 so I'm picking up some Leo Libra shit for sure. I'm so mad that you know I'm not able to find anything. So I'm on his YouTube. Maybe I can find it here. This makes me mad. I'm on Instagram on my laptop and still don't. Look, I'm putting all this time into this. This is time. Because <laughs> I want to see what type of fuckery, what kind of planetary alignment makes somebody act like that. <laughs> uh, this makes me mad that I am like not coming up with anything decent, even birth date or anything. I scrolled to see like anything. Look how nosy I am Me astrologically. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I swear I done looked up some shit. Look how investigative. <laughs> <laughs> For no reason. Oh, that shit. oh my God. That's hilarious. Oh my God. What is wrong with me? <laughs> 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 y'all are seeing it in action too that's the funny part right that's the like <laughs> definitely he looks like he belong on real housewives oh my god like his personality would yes. be perfect. but no I just need you to hear that clip. like I was just like oh like it usually my jaw don't drop when people be talking to people. I guess I wasn't expecting that. I guess <laughs> <laughs> get a little off guard. Like, yeah. Damn. Wait. Everybody calling him Kevin Sa- Kevin Savage the Savage. Oh, I found the video. All right. Well, I could at least play it. Let's see. Is I'm it a gonna... short one? It's the it's seven minutes and twenty five seconds. Yeah, I think that's about. All right, let me. Oh, is it the one? Oh, this looks like it might be a review. Dating consultant gives a woman a savage. Yeah, but the only reason why he was going in on her. <laughs> I'm going to let you play it, though. No problem. All right, just a second. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to share the sound. I forgot. If you don't do that, it's like they don't hear it. Mm-hmm. One second. Share computer sound. Okay, let me get my ass on DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> why you do that? <laughs> oh my god, why why are you my twin, Eric? <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> all right here we go y'all and ma'am and that's my point you ladies all feel like listen you ladies all feel like you're the exception to the rule and then when someone like myself comes along and gives you a a dose of reality instead of just accepting it it's like yeah but yeah but i'm special you don't know any men on this level that are not your father, that aren't related to you. That means you don't know these men. You don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. But you're still saying, pick me. They don't want mid-30-year-old baby mamas. I'm trying to be polite, man, but they don't want those. Can I ask a question? Did you hear what I said? Yes. Why is that so? Okay, go ahead. I just tell what Go ahead. Um, 
my from my point of view, I feel like I, I get what you're saying. They 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 do have better options, but also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. I'm, Bullshit. I'm fifty one and I and I can't beat them off with a stick. That's another one on you lies. No, younger women are always younger women are attracted to the older men. What are you talking about? So can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So do you feel like a woman like me? Uh huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm -hmm, Just your face. Um, my face when I wake up five, but when I put myself together six. Okay. And how tall are you? Five five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three. Okay. So that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. So, um. Did you, did you, I mean, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there, breathe and digest. You're 35 years old and you can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher earning men with average looking women off rip. If you do see them, they got them, they got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up. But a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman. I mean, my body is not average, so. But your ma'am, you please don't make me say it. Say what? I really just wanted some advice. I love you. I'm giving you. I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The I'm, advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but... Okay, but you're not accepting the fact that... Okay. Average-looking women. Average-looking woman who's older. Average-looking older woman with a 13-year-old son. Average-looking woman with a 13-year-old son with a sketchy baby daddy. This gets worse every time I say something. And now you're asking for a man who's in the top 10% of men. You don't qualify for one. Make him, I, mean, I don't, I don't want to have to go there. But when you put in the, all these other factors, why can't you just get a man that's an average guy? Sometimes I feel like um, in order to fully submit, I have to feel like he's in. Well, then you're gonna control. then you're gonna die alone. How about that? You, let me just cut to the chase, ma'am. Uh, you can feel like right. what you want to, but women like you die alone, straight up, because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for. And the only reason, honestly, ma'am, that I can see a woman like yourself really thinking you deserve more is because you earn more because you earn more money than most people around you in North Carolina. But if your ass worked at the post office, you would not think so highly of your opportunities. And that's the reality. We don't, men don't care about your money. Not the kind of men that you want. We don't care about your money. It ain't ours. We care about the fact that Baby. you're older and you got <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're average. And your reality of your life has showed you that. You don't have the kind of men that you want knocking on your door trying to find you. See, what we've done in this country, this world, is we've told women like yourself that you can have it all. And you got a Prince Charming who's six foot, a hundred, six feet tall, six figure income, jawline, all this other kind of stuff. And I'm sorry, man. No. Most people get average people, especially average people. 
And you're an average person. I mean, let's be real. You're not running Microsoft. You got you had a pet grooming business. Wow. <laughs> You've been making six figures for the last three years. Okay. <laughs> but if I'm looking at you, but if I looked at you and I took all that off of you, all the eyelashes and all the hair, what do you look like under there? You going in on her the same. I'm just... No, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have all that on. I'm sorry? No, you don't. You don't look the same because <laughs> if you did, you wouldn't have all that on. <laughs> so, what is your advice for uh, okay. women that all right, I'll tell you my advice, man, because you're not listening to me. This is why I always recommend you need you need to need therapy. Because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being. Don't tell me I'm being mean. I've, well, I'm about to be mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle the goddamn truth. You called my show on the day that you ain't even supposed to be here, and I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you, telling me I'm being mean. Get the fuck out of my phone tired of y'all doing this shit okay wow um so my bad he said you brides um but uh, to be very honest with you i was okay until he's like you broads and fuck out of the room me Uh, too i was cool i was like you know um it sounds like Again, like he's purposely trying to tear her down, like just the way that he worded certain things. But like you, at first he would say, oh, you think that you're better than them because you make this, that, and the other. But then in the same vein, you call her average. Really? I mean, I I really, I, I, I feel like this resonates with my Virgo energy way too much, which this is parts of myself I work on because sometimes mm-hmm. I realize that in my life, I have not been completely honest because I was trying to be nice. Now, granted, there's a time and a place, I think, for that. Like, that's probably something I'm going to do. You know how you have a friend or friends and they'll talk to you about shit and you know, you might see them follow the same pattern and finally you got to be like, look, this is what it is. But again, I don't know anything about this dude, his style, if he's right. known for being, if like, so, I mean, I wouldn't have necessarily said it in that way. I but just, like, I'm trying to figure out why, was, mm-hmm. why he was like so insistent on putting a stop to her show. So her original question, if I'm not mistaken, was how do I get a six-figure man? And he's telling her you can't get one because of how you look. So what she was trying to, I guess, basically say was like, well, if it's about how I look, I can change that. Like, tell me how to look. And like, he's just basically trying to shut her down and like, no, bitch, this is just what you deserve. This is what you're going to take. And I'm just like, well, damn, like... I guess I I look at it a little differently because I look at it like at he obviously considers himself a six figure dude high value man so he's yeah. giving her his preference like uh-huh. like maybe as maybe he wouldn't he wouldn't choose her but that's not to say that like she can't be chosen like but right. I also look at it like this like so in his head the, I'm getting the type of person he is. He equates having that money to having like video models and stuff. And looking at her, she doesn't look like a video model to me. Let me go back and see how many subscribers he got. So if that's his idea of what successful men get, because that's what he wants, whether I don't even know if he is really that or is just portraying to be, I have no idea. I'm just saying. I'm like, you're talking a lot of shit for somebody who, like, you're talking like you top 10% YouTube. Like, 181k listen okay i don't know um, what where is this i guess we ain't gonna know a birthday i tried i tried yeah, I, I did too we legitimately tried um but you know it might come up later it might 
But um, but I, I, I felt some like really raw Capricorn man vibes. I know some Capricorn men that are really harsh, but there's other reasons for that too. Like or they what? come off as harsh. Or not even Capricorn men, men with heavy Capricorn placements. I know a Libra guy even like say that. Aquarius as well. Because mm-hmm. uh, those are, that's another sign that's like brutally honest. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, wow, you just, you was like, look, I'm filtered. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I want to do that more often too. That's what we should do examine stuff that's going on and talk about it. Yeah. Because, woo, I was like, even I was like, he wasn't even talking to me. And I was like, oh, you broads, <laughs> who hurt you? What's going on with that? And he was like, see, I can take that so many different ways. I was like, that that was a little, like, I don't know if you had a bad day or you just is a really assholeish, narcissistic type dude. Like, yeah, like know. maybe somebody, yeah, maybe. maybe, maybe but it wouldn't was, matter. I wouldn't be looking at him anyway. to be the one that he took his frustration out on. That's what, that's what it seems like. Like he was frustrated. And a lot of that frustration could have came from her because he kept stating his point and she wasn't accepting it so that's why i was like maybe i should look at the whole but i haven't had the time if somebody i haven't had the time to look at the whole damn thing like, i don't even know if it would be worth it when at the end of the day i'm just like yeah that was kind of <laughs> i mean that was ooh, all righty he did not have to go off at that like that but i mean i guess sir what, what happened to you today right now I'm like, just because you wouldn't date her don't mean that somebody else would. And he was trying to make it sound like that. And I'm just like, well, damn, she can't want somebody that's on par with her? God, I think he's injecting his view. Huh? I think he's injecting his view of what people put. It should be. Yeah, and I mean, if you think about it too, we have to we have to be honest about something too. Um, no matter what a man looks like, if he has money, there are pretty women around. Right. Now, I'm not trying to say the same isn't true in reverse, because it can be, but especially if this someone is, is money stuff. motivated. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But it's just like, damn, like, um, an ugly ass dude has carte blanche to say dumb shit not even just in that particular situation but like uh, about but women do- where if you took his money away you'd be like you most of us are like at, at some of these people now like why wow looks are so important except yours huh but it don't matter you're the man with the money even still it's kind of hard like i it don't is. see how women, i don't see how women do it like i can't be somebody that I'm not attracted to on some type of level I don't care how much money you got like I have reconsidered sugar baby so many times because when they say like there's a reason why he's paying you to spend money with him I mean you know like there's a reason why he's paying you to spend time with him or whatever it's because this motherfucker is hard to look at like for real like these and they know they ugly (laughs) like you know what I mean? Mm. Or creepy or whatever their disposition is. Like, mm. yeah. Like, um, it's I get it. You gotta be you gotta be a bold bitch to be with an ugly nigga, like that's blatantly ugly. <laughs> like, what what was that girl name? Um Rick Ross ex-girlfriend. I can't think Lyric of her name, but I can see her or something like that. Mm. She got she ended up getting pregnant by this producer guy. And this nigga is so fucking done in the face. And I'm like, you got pregnant by that? But he got money, so it don't matter. Of course. And that's literally like people's end games. And I'm just like, I ain't got it in me. I ain't got it in me. You making me so hungry. Yeah, let me get on this app and order my food. (laughs) Because... Sorry, I'm just here eating snacks. <laughs> She's just going to town. So 
about her, no. I guess well, I don't. But I, I do want to have you back and we can have snacks and drink stuff and talk about things. Yeah, it's always a good time. Always. So I look forward to having you back. Again, this is Erica. This has she, been Erica. Thank you for having me. It's been a good time. Also the, you're welcome, sweetheart. She is also the Golden Mystic. On Twitter. And that's my website, thegoldenmystic.com. And you can also add me as a friend on Facebook. Um, Erica, or Erica, U-R-K-A. <laughs> two, two words, er and then cut. Yep. You got lucky. I know a lot of people probably wanted that. Yeah, so go ahead and add me if you if you bout about it. <laughs> so thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Spiritual Gangster Certified. We will see you on the flip side. Bye. Oh my goodness.